Hi, I'm James Croft, and today I'm going to be giving you a bit of a tour of Connect, getting in, navigating the space, and a general overview of how it all works. Connect is TAFE Queensland's learning management system and provides students with a place to view unit materials, submit assessments, check their progress, contact their teacher, and more. It's also important to note that Connect is responsively designed, so you can access it on your smartphone or tablet, as well as on your desktop. The content will reshuffle to ensure optimum display for the screen that you're accessing it on. If this is your first time accessing Connect, you'll notice there are some useful links on the login page to provide you with information or help. You can run a system check to make sure that your computer and browser are up to date and compatible. There is a link to the password manager to help resolve any password dilemmas that you are having and a link to connect help, a searchable index of help and resources, which also links to our YouTube channel. The first thing we have to do is log in. You'll do this with your 10 digit student number and password. Let's talk about the My Home page. This is your dashboard to get to all of the units that you are currently enrolled in. You'll see each of them represented by a tile that features an image and the unit name. For any overflow, there is a View All Units button. The top bar, the one largely populated by icons, is called the mini bar and makes navigating Connect simple and fast. The mini bar is always there, regardless of where you are in Connect. Although it may rejig a little due to the size of the screen you're working on, it's that responsive design principle. No matter the screen size, you'll always have the notification icons for communication, unit updates and alerts, and your profile information and settings, where you can edit your profile photo, change your email notification settings, and log out. Check out our Enabling Your Notifications Guide for a more detailed breakdown of this area of Connect. The nine squared icon, which has been nicknamed the waffle, represents the unit dropdown menu. This allows you to access all of your units. You can pin your most frequently accessed units to the top of your list by clicking the pin icon. On a smaller screen, like a smartphone, this will sit underneath the menu icon, a set of three lines often referred to as the hamburger. So if you ever lose your waffle, you might find it inside your hamburger. Underneath your units will be the global announcements where TAFE-wide announcements are displayed. This is usually info that's less specific to the units you're enrolled in. It could be things like updates about Connect, TAFE Queensland competitions, or info about public holidays and campus closures. Further down from there, you'll see the TAFE Queensland footer, which includes some important links and information. Let's continue this tour inside one of your units. Front and center, we have the unit banner, which utilizes the same image as the tile that represented it on the My Home page. Next up is the announcements, which is where you'll see updates about your unit as you progress. Maybe a welcome message, hints or tips about your learning, available opportunities, reminders, or any other relevant unit news that you should be aware of. Finally, we also have the updates area, which gives you a place to see what's new, and the calendar, where you can create events and dates for your unit. Next up, we'll head back up to the top and take a look at the nav bar. 
The navbar is where you access unit-specific tools and resources. We'll cover these in depth in their own standalone tutorials. But the important thing to know is that you can access all your unit tools and resources through here. There is also a link to connect help here, a quick and easy way to get help if you are ever stuck. Again, the responsiveness of Connect will mean that elements will adjust to better suit those users' individual screens. On a tablet, some of these navbar options might be compressed into a more menu. On a smartphone, they'll probably feature under the hamburger. This is all designed to ensure best possible user experience. Selecting content in the navbar will take you to the content and activities that have been assembled and sequenced to make up this unit. The content area is a place where we can view and navigate through unit materials and activities through the left pane menu. Whatever we select in that menu will be revealed in more detail on the right. We can access the unit overview, any bookmarks we've made, any upcoming events, and most importantly, the unit content. The number next to each heading will let you know how many items you still need to complete in each area. Let's take a look at a single module now. You get an overview of your progress above the topic list, letting you know how far through the content you have progressed. If a topic has been completed, there will be a tick mark next to it. If it hasn't, it will simply show a dot. Let's select a topic and move through the module. We'll select the last topic which we have with a tick next to it. This will be the last topic we visited last time we accessed the unit. Here, we have a page of content. We can bookmark this page by clicking the bookmark icon. The arrows let us move through the topics, either backwards or forwards. These appear at the top and bottom of a page of content. We can also use the slide out panel on the left to give us instant access to the table of contents. We can use this panel to cycle through modules or to jump to the next topic. There are also breadcrumbs at the top of the page, which show us where we are. Let's go back out to our overall module view. We can now see that the topics we visited have been completed. When you complete all topics in a module, you'll get a check mark next to the module heading. Finally, you can always select the unit name to return to your unit homepage. Or select the TAFE Queensland logo to return to the My Homepage.